In every video, I make an attempt to say new stuff, because what's gonna be the point of every video I make, I say the same shit all the time. Right now, we're gonna be talking about Halifax, being here for four years, and what are some things about this city that you need to know before you move here, but at the same time, what are some lessons and takeaways? What's my review of the city, and what is the overall feel and, and meaning of being in a place like Halifax? So, right now, it's pretty uh, the opposite of busy. It's a Sunday right after reading week, which we did not get because we're in journalism. Um, so there aren't many people on campus, so I'm gonna walk around a little bit and give you some tips about Halifax and what I've learned after four years of being here. Once you move here, you're like, yeah, it's nice, it's different, like it has this, like, it has this vibe that grows on you very quickly. It doesn't, it kinda, instantly you might like the place. Um, especially if you're downtown, it's different than other parts of the city. It's, it's different than, being in Halifax is different than being in a larger city. The architecture is different, you have that coastal vibe, and you have some of the natural history. That's what people are talking about when they say natural history here in Halifax. It's, it's pretty well preserved. Um, so it's really, it's really interesting to see that, but at the same time, after being here for a long time, look around on the streets right now. Do you see anyone over there? Barely, maybe like one person walking in the distance. Look over there, across the road. Essentially no one here. University town with 20,000 people who go to this school alone. Look how, look how generally empty it is. See, that's the thing. And if, if you want to build a business, you want to be huge, you want to like do exciting things every day. After a while, like I can go to a coffee shop and work alone. I might be able to call a few friends out, but like we can walk the streets. But at the same time, it's like, <laughs> this is the reality of being here submerged in this area right now. Like, are you feeling me? Do you get what I'm saying? So that's the thing, it can feel like home awfully fast. That's probably the number one takeaway. Um, but after that, it's like, you have your things to do, you're either going to school, you're going to work, you're, you're plugged in, but it, it tends to repeat itself in a very similar fashion. You know, being able to have uh, exponential growth here in this city is, is kind of a rare thing and only a few people really hit it big and make it large. Uh, there are some startups and companies coming out of Halifax that are doing amazingly. Um, and they don't publicize it in the same way that I publicize my daily life. And just because you don't hear about it doesn't mean they're not, but they are doing so damn well. But at the same time, it's few and far between. Most people are in the rat race. Most people are a part of the rat race. And when I say rat race, I mean the same nine to five grind, or even if they're entrepreneurs, doing a creative gig like photography or journalism and not necessarily banking and investing it to grow exponentially and become the top 10%, the top 20%. Um, so yeah, uh, that's what Halifax is all about and that's what I've, I've noticed. So biggest takeaway, if you wanna make it in this city, you need to come here, you need to get plugged in, you need to sacrifice 10 years of focus. It's getting windy. So that's what this city is. It's coming here and spending, you know, time, money, energy, focus, and repeat, 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 grind, 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 repeat, repeat, repeat. And after a while, same, same faces, same places, repeat, 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 grind, grind, grind. And that's, that's what drives some people crazy, especially if they don't have other things to look forward to like I do. And I'm not saying like, I have more things to look forward to, but think about it, I'm going to channel, I'm building a business on the side, I'm going to school, I'm thinking about world travel. I can stay sane to a certain degree, but I still feel like grind, 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 repeat, repeat, repeat. Imagine if I was working at Walmart every day. Every day I wake up and I go to Walmart and I come back and this is what I have to live. <laughs> That's, I'm really capturing in this video, in these words, I'm capturing the essence of this city. And I've done it again and again and again. I've done these videos again and again and again. Grind, 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 repeat, repeat, repeat. So with that being said, let me give you some concrete, actionable tips and tricks that you can use in this city to not only shine, but put, put that into perspective. So understand that when you come to Halifax, it's like investing in the stock market. Let me repeat that again. Coming to Halifax to live here is like investing in the stock market. The more money you put into the stock market, the more return you can get. But the more money you put in, the more you can lose. So if you're coming to Halifax for 45 years, you might really make it. You might be, you know, a lot of people say, hey, you're, you're, not gonna, you're not gonna build a huge business here in Halifax. It's never gonna be like Toronto. Those people to a certain degree are right. Just like when you put in an investment, it's very unlikely you're gonna get a 200% return. Very unlikely. But hey, if you get that return, 
it's because you took the risk. You take high risk for high return. And this is a place where you can do that. I mean, if I go to Toronto to take high risk, it's very unlikely that I can find something to disrupt the marketplace. But I'm always going to have the big city facilities around me, okay? So coming to Halifax, know you're investing your time, energy, passion. It's like investing in the stock market. The more upfront you invest, and the more you do it, the more savvy you get at it. So you're going to understand what works in the city, what doesn't work in the city. But it's going to take time. I mean, you, you wake up in 15 years, you have a few more wrinkles. Um, you may be successful in Halifax. Maybe that's what you want. So I can invest everything. I can pump and dump. I can come to Halifax. I can leave immediately and get out. Like get out before like right when I graduate, it's safe. Go somewhere else. You can do both. You can leave some of your assets here. You could build a business here and travel and return. And I think that's where I'm gonna. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna be right in between, which is why before I'm out of here in the next three months, I have to hustle and grind and try to sign a few clients um, and try to actually build something in the city before I'm out. I don't want to invest my full self into Halifax. I want to invest. You know, I want to invest a little bit and I want to nurture it and grow it like a nest egg. But I don't want to invest my full self. You may want to do that, especially if you're coming from another place in the world. You want to PR here. Excellent. Huge step up. Huge change. And you're learning because you're in Canada. I'm from Canada. I'm not going to learn much more from staying in Halifax for the next 20 years. And I'm going to wake up with a few more wrinkles. So I hope this video wasn't too deep. You know... I can explain deep things in an understandable way, and I'm not tuning my own horn here, but I think we should have better conversations about Halifax. A lot of this is like, how do I find a job? How do I get a retail job? I want to help you break out of that. I'm not like making you videos to just help you get here and just do your thing. I want you to become successful and have a complete understanding of the nuance, you know, perspective that you should have living in Halifax. So again, my name is Nadu Nadu Najad, making more videos for people coming to Canada. Subscribe, smash that notification bell, useful information dripping from this channel every day. Thanks for watching.